What's up? You are now rocking with the bigs. I am Herb Howard live from SoFi Stadium here after the Bears season opening defeat to the Los Angeles Rams. The Bears were defeated 34-14 in a game that started out really well for the Bears. They ended up turning the ball over on their first drive, throwing an end zone, an end zone interception. After that, the game kind of got out of hand. It was never really close. David, you've always said that you're going to do whatever's in the best interest of the team for winning the game, and I respect that. But do you feel like it's in the best interest of the team to win the game by giving you the ball more, especially against five and six man boxes? Uh, that's you, you know you don't know you know it, it's the tale of the unknown. Um, you just gotta play play out how the game goes. <laughs> you know you just um, take one play at a time, and, and every opportunity I get, I just want to be sure that I can extend whatever I get and try to help our offense out. Um, but at the same time, being able to block for AD so he can get some time to, you know, shoot the ball off and do whatever he needs to do so that our, our talented wide right receiver group and our tight ends can handle business as well. So um, I'm not necessarily saying that it needs to be in my hands, but I think um, we just need to just continue to grow together as an offense because we can be really good. They had an opportunity to cut the lead down to 10 with about 10 minutes left in the game. And Matt Nagy, in my opinion, inexplicably chose to go for it on 4th and 15. Just to be clear on the 4th and 15, is that a situation where you just really felt good about the play call going into it? Or at 10 minutes left in the game, cutting it to 10 just didn't seem like that was good enough for you? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, at that point in time, again, more of just probably a gut feeling of, of we felt good about the play. I, I think we... Um, you know, we knew we were going to have to protect, be protecting right there. And that, that's the one thing when you get in those long down and distances, we know this stuff can happen. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, you, you could probably look at it a couple different ways, but we felt good about it right there. As opposed to taking the three points, cutting it to 10, that was the fourth time in the football game that the Bears elected to go for it on fourth down. They came up empty on all four opportunities, 0 for 4 on fourth down conversions today. Andy, were you surprised to see you guys go for so many fourth down? Um, uh, attempts? No, I think being aggressive is a good thing. And we had opportunities, we were just we were close on um, on all of them. And so, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's just kind of the way that we want to play. Not a good day for the Bears offensively. Also, not a good day for the Bears defensively. They gave up way too many big plays, 50-yard chunks, 30-yard chunks, 60-yard chunks um, at a time. Not a very good day for the Bears all around. As I said, they came up short 34-14, their season opening loss here at beautiful SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. This stadium is absolutely phenomenal. It's a great opportunity to be out here. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Keep it locked right here all season long as we bring you the absolute latest in sports news and analysis from the Chicago Bears. For the big media, I am Herb Howard.